I welcome everybody to the round table. Here with me is the president of Tennis Foundation Ghana and he's going to tell us his general assessment. Um, after the four weeks, it has never been easy. I know he's going to speak a lot about it. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Set Tennis Shop where you can get everything pertaining to tennis. We have things like rackets, shoes, dresses, socks and many others. You can find several brands such as Unix, Head, Babulat, and Wilson. Second Serve Tennis Show. This is where tennis starts. You can contact us on 026-1427-166 or 027-6015-330 or 054-744-9418. We are located at the Accra Sports Stadium. Thank you. Welcome, Roger Crawford. Thank you, sir. Okay, Roger, as a before, before Before you go on, I just want to say um, great job for uh, stepping up and being assistant tournament director. Um, for somebody that a lot of people uh, thought of as just a media guy, you've done an amazing job. And I have um, a lot of faith that you will take this tournament to the next level even in my absence. So um, that is great. I know it's taking you by surprise, but yes, I'm very, very happy with your performance. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mr. Crawford, generally, what can you say about a four weeks ITF juniors? So, I think initially I thought, oh yeah, we can do this, but little did I know that this was just a crazy idea. A crazy idea in the sense that it's, it's a lot of work. You know, we do these things, uh, this time usually for, uh, I mean, two weeks, and all of a sudden we say, okay, we're going to do it for four weeks. Uh, I mean, it's been fun, but it's also been a lot of work. You know, the waking up early in the morning and being here so early and, and going home so late, and you know, you all, you've been a part of it so you know exactly what I'm talking about but it's been a lot of work on the tennis playing side I think it's been great we've all seen a lot of players uh, tested and yesterday we saw uh, uh, Mia yeah. uh, lose and you can tell she's you know fatigued now she's only here for <laughs> like three weeks now yes yeah, so um, it's it's good it tests the the the, the method of, uh, of tennis players young tennis players so I like it I like it. it's been great um, in terms of uh player development, both Ghanaian players and other foreign nationals. What can you say about that? So in terms of player development, you know, um, competition is how, how you measure uh, a player's uh, prowess, how, how much they've improved. So if you have them at one place competing day in, day out, day in, day out, you can tell that they, they have to get to what we call the optimal performance, the peak performance. And a lot of them have peaked. A peak performance is where you get to and they can't basically improve anymore. And then they get on the court and it's like fireworks. And you see a lot of, even our players, you see a lot of our, our players doing that. Unfortunately, somebody like uh, this one I about lost yesterday, you know, I was very heartbroken because I sat here and watched the whole match. But um, um, I know there's hope. Okay, um, let's, let's, let's talk about um, what's going around with the GTF and TFG. Can you address that issue very well? There is <laughs> there's absolutely nothing going on with GTF, TFG. I think, um, you know, first of all, let me let me just stick that. If you're talking the acronyms GTF, that's Ghana Tennis Federation, and TFG, Tennis Foundation Ghana, um, I think I heard, you know, some crazy notion that we kept the acronyms so, so one will overtake the other or something like that, some, some silly stuff. Anybody who thinks along those lines shows how uh, very little they know about tennis and the and the evolution that we've gone through this past uh, a few years. So, Ghana Tennis Federation used to be Ghana Tennis Association (GTA). So a few years ago, it became a federation. I don't get into the details of that because it's left to them to explain. But Tennis Foundation Ghana was set up as Tennis Foundation Ghana. We took our idea from Tennis Foundation UK. Okay, Tennis Foundation UK. What they do is there is the LTA who is the um, tennis uh, government-dated tennis body in the UK. But they can't do everything. They don't do wheelchair tennis, for example. So Tennis Foundation UK does those things to help. They also do inner city tennis, just like we do with our little boys you know, around the stadium. So Tennis Foundation Ghana supports, or as I always say, Tennis Foundation Ghana is always here to make the Federation shine. The Ghana Tennis Federation can't do everything. Yeah. You know, so Tennis Foundation came in to do some of these things. Just again, like the Tennis Foundation UK, that's it. The funny thing is that this man that we've been here, I've had two guys come up to me, one from Kenya, one from Nigeria. So in the next few months, you're going to see Tennis Foundation Nigeria. You're going to see Tennis Foundation Kenya. Kenya. And then who knows where it's going to go. And those people are going to 
you know, tap into what we have done and do similar things there. So it's 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 um, a nice brush fire that we started. So for anybody to sit back and say that Tennis Foundation Ghana, you know, has ulterior motives for choosing the acronyms, it's actually ridiculous. Welcome to Mark Eagle Enterprise, where you can find all types of weighing skills and weight bridges here. We sell semi pitless weight bridges, modular weight br bridges, electronic weighing skill, uh, track weighing skill, mobile weighing bridges, pitless and pit skills. And we have the weighing skill for the chicken, lab, uh, pallet skill and floor skill or we have them here. If you want the best quality skill in Ghana, you can contact us on 026-444-0402 or 026-200-0030 or 0244-148-456. You are welcome to Mark Eagle Enterprise in Tema, Mankwadi Roundabout, A17. Thank you. Let's talk about donations. I mean, uh, I, I'm part of Tennis Foundation Ghana. I do yes. most of uh, Tennis Foundation Ghana stories. Basically, I'm the media head, but always I hear people saying that you people have got donation items, you people are selling the donation items. Tell us, why do you think we should sell donation items so, to tennis players? So listen, a foundation, right? A foundation is a non-profit organization. In Ghana, we call them non-governmental organization. In the U.S., we call them non-profit organization. A non-profit runs on donations. So some people, we have donors in the States who, who write checks for us, you know, periodically. We also have people who don't give us money, but they will give us items. Just like, was it World Vision, Salvation, yes. I mean, any of those? I, any, any of those I, have, um, I have one here. I have one here. Let, let, me just, let me just read. Um, uh, one army, he says that they did a research and said, they went to Cantamanto and almost ha, almost 99 percent of what they sell at Cantamanto are all charity items yes people people donate i mean in my area in westchester county in in uh, in, in new york we have um, collection areas where people people have have you know have money and when they use clothes or they, there's something they don't like they go and donate it and and there is there is a whole line of people who depend on that because they, they will for example clean it wash it and then and pack them in bills and ship them that is not free that is somebody's job you know when people donate to us they expect that we will use the resources from that to run the foundation to provide programs if somebody gives you a pair of shoes and you come and just give it to one kid you've only affected one kid if you sell that and you're able to run a tournament out of it for 24 kids for, for 24 draw you've affected 24 kids so there is absolutely uh, no secret and absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's total ignorance for somebody to think, oh, some, somebody donated stuff to you and you sold it. Yes, it's to run the foundation, unless it's specifically stated, give it to this person or give it to that person. Like a um, kid from Switzerland, um, Patrick Chong, yeah. came with stuff that when he was here in April, he saw that the kids needed some stuff. So he went by here and his mother put some stuff together and said, give it to these kids. That's totally different. So, um, uh, GTA board member, one GTA board member, I, didn't want to, I don't want to mention his name, um, uh, put it out there. I mean, when, when you talk about Patrick Sean, put it out there that uh, I hope these donated items don't end up at your shop. That is, How, is it that they don't understand that donated items most of the times goes to, I mean, uh, people pay for duties and the rest, or they just want to blackmail you? Listen, 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 listen. It's no secret that Tennis Foundation Ghana is doing a great job. I'm surprised at what we've been able to do. And I mean, I give God the, 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 the thanks, you know, and of course, all of you, the whole team. But everything we've done is, is totally above board. And it, uh, like I say, we, we, we are registered with the Treasury Department of the, of the US um, government. We are 501C, we, don't, we are exempted from, from paying tax. We also registered with the Grand Revenue Authority. Anybody who wants to see our books is all online to see it. We do, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to waste time addressing infantile stuff. No, absolutely not. Not from initially when we started, I put our family money into starting the foundation because that's how you start. So when you start like that and people see that, you know what, you're doing well, people come on board. So now we have 
permanent supporters, people who come in and say, hey, this is our contribution this year, this is our contribution this month, and they keep, you know, and, and they keep us afloat. So, please, let's, let's not go there, because that's going to infuriate me. Okay, uh, Mr. Crawford, your final words or your final submission? I, I, think, I think there's a lot of things to be, to be addressed in, in, in Ghana tennis. You know, the least of which is not this recent debacle with the, with the Davis Cup team, which you got penalized yeah. for unjustly. <laughs> um, there is also, um, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. But I think, I think we'll say, with the least said right now, the, the, the better. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and address some of those things in, yeah. in person. But for now, we just want to focus on the ITF uh, tournament and uh, the progress that you guys have. I also want to take this opportunity to uh, say a big thank you to um, Mr. Yakubu, you know, you know, for always being there the whole team, um, Alliance Media, um, Cecil and, 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 and Ajimai. And, you know, the officials and everybody, you know, the volunteers from the gone and everybody who's been, who, who's helped this um, tournament be a success. You know, we wish, we wish uh, the, everybody well and we wish the Federation also well. And we look forward to, you know, working together on different projects going forward. All right. Uh and that's it for today uh, this show is being sponsored by second self tennis shop where you get your quality tennis equipment equipment <laughs> it's all in house <laughs> <laughs> all right so <laughs>